live at London Art Art Gallery streaming so that you guys can join us here on Facebook. I'm here live hosting at the London Art Art Gallery with Marie Heinz Cow. Hi, how are you doing, Andrea? Super fine. Uh, we want to discuss tonight to our audience about, since we're closing and concluding this exhibition, um, and we are going to see you back at chapter two. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we should um, have you give them like a conclusion or a backdrop of the experience here with us. Okay, well, you know, it's been, it's been a really good experience. It's been great to talk with people about their thoughts of my, my artwork, you know, where it's coming from, what they read in it, what they see in it. Um, it's been really great to have repeat people come back yes. and ask me questions and then they've gone home and thought about it and they come back and ask me a further question and, and to, to even see them on the street and they talk to me about the artwork yeah. or what they thought. That, it, that's really, really wonderful to, to have people so uh, involved nice. in, in the artwork in that manner. So, and it's just been um, just wonderful to, to have New Rochelle, you know, Interact with us here in the gallery. Um, just kind of like the, the growing art scene here. Yeah, we're, we're going to be known as the art district. Of yeah, the already been known. I know. I mean, there's the studios right down the street here. We have new development coming up. Yeah, tons of people is going to be on just on the move. So we're giving a space that you have. Yeah, fun for, and for, for have fun. right for. for conversation about art. Culture. Yeah. Food. Right. right. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about, you know, the the experience in specific, like any particular person you mentioned, someone saw you at the library or something? Yeah. Um, a couple of people actually have come to me in the library and said, we know you. <laughs> We've seen your face. You're the artist. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so gratifying. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. So we're at this, the city is focusing on giving um, even the business people um, some exposure somehow they have been great chamber mm -hmm. and um, I'm particularly interested to in see where we're going to grow from this platform because the gallery is situated in Division Street. Division Street you have a lot of restaurants and yeah. um, bars. We have new restaurant coming across the street. People come here downtown and they got, they're got getting to find something new. and. Um, if I might add, we are going to do some, you know, you can book an event to do sip and paint and that kind of stuff. So we are really looking at master class. You would come back and teach oh, us, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I would love to. We would like to share some techniques with the audience. Yeah. This time they will have their own desk, table, uh, an easel and stuff like that. I can really talk about our techniques then. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and give them something to do. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that would be good for us. And um, sh I like the... For you particularly, I would like to tell the artists, you have been one of the very cultured, warm artists to work with, very easygoing. Oh, you know, well, thank you. Most people say <laughs> artists are so temperamental, <laughs> and you know, but you were not. You were very, um, unlike what um, I was told, because I'm new in the business, that artists are very temperamental, and in particular, I know your work is great, but you as a person that seems to travel and mature and have a kind of deep character behind you and that I like. I really enjoy sharing my space with you and having Thank you. the quality of work here. Thanks. Well, I mean, you know, it's really been a great experience working with you um, because I find all the, the same things. And the fact that you get my work, <laughs> you <true>. understand <laughs> it, is, is wonderful. Right? Yes, That's yes. So um, I, I love um, just pushing the boundaries of seeing like I didn't originally, you know, come from an artist background, an art background, but of in my culture back in Trinidad, my father was a um, wire bender kind of costume maker. So therefore, there's a, a, a bit of a creative, a creative thing like I just did over my show window. I can understand color and art, but to meticulously paint something like this, I can't even think about how much concentration and the level of concentration. It's huge. <laughs> it really is huge. And it's, it's uh, 
kind of life consuming. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not something you do on a nine to five basis. No. You think about it constantly. I mean, like the other day, I was doing a freelance job, mm -hmm. something completely different. Just walk around Manhattan. I had to take some photos for a freelance job. And it may sound a little bit out of the, but one of the Greek gods, you know, popped up on Fifth Avenue and just gave me an idea, inspired me. A poem, the whole painting, everything. It's now in my head. No, it's in your head. So yeah. Good work with that. Right. So, you know, this was while on another job. I'm doing my job, not, you know, slacking off at my other job, but <laughs> they showed up. There was the idea. Here's, you know. So, uh, be, being an artist, uh, this is something you think about all the time. What I like about this painting, because I know you probably came in the gallery and saw me just change backgrounds. Um, I was looking at this lady, these, this Irene's, um, how did I pronounce it right? Irene's, yeah. Irene's. So I used to be very terrified about cemeteries. Mm. So with that dancing on someone's grave in my, when I heard it because I was super spooky about, you know, cemeteries, I said, you, you mentioned something to the audience when the question came. You said, I love these women because with their knees out, their hips, and they're pretty into themselves. I'm saying to myself, I, this painting teach me about confidence yeah. in our self-worth, and I'm not to be afraid of that. Because yeah. when you're having fun with life, it's almost like they're saying, that's nothing under there. That's, that is something to just not even pay attention to. Just enjoy your life and be, you know, be, have fun with what where you, are right, where you now. are right now. You yeah. know? So I said, okay, we'll have a conversation with this painting. Um, and their, their eyes closed, how you capture the mood in their faces. I could almost hear someone humming. Right, the music that they're <laughs> dancing to, the right? Music, you know, almost yeah. hear someone humming because it's, you know, they're getting down really nicely. So I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, Sometimes I sit and I look and I said, oh my God, um, I would keep Nike, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am not going to let go of Nike. I think it's sold. <laughs> I said that on live TV, so I guess I'm in trouble. I guess you're, yeah. But I, I, I keep saying I jog from New Rochelle to the Bronx. Where Nike is, mm -hmm. yeah. and I have a good story for you. Hi. I turned on my TV the, the other night. Well, I, I stream my laptop onto my TV, listen to motivational things because that's how I get pumped. And I was listening to um, an a, a audio recording from years ago, and I believe it was the president of Nike. He was like, "You know what's the difference between the ones who do things and the ones who don't do it? They do it." And when, they, when you meet someone who's just busy and they walk up to you and they go like, how do you do it? His answer was, just do it. Just, just do, do it. it. Do it until you do it and do it. And I was like, that's Nike again. That's what I, you know, because I opened a shop, didn't know what I was going to get, who was going to come, but I just do it. Right. I just do it. And he says, how do you know that you do it? He said, just do it and do it and do it and do it. Just do it. And I just... I remember one morning I was jogging to Nike, which was that day, and before I got there, I was almost in tears because like 5, 5.30, and the freshness of the air, mm. and I'm like, oh my God, the excitement of just being alive, to be able to do this at my age, run like a 24-year-old all the way to the Bronx and back, it's literally about 10 miles, and I'm saying, just do it. That's which is kind do. of, well, which is kind of like the painting. You know, when you start a painting, you've got a blank canvas. canvas. That can be the scariest thing. <laughs> you have this bright, white, clean canvas, and you could make a mark on it and ruin it. <laughs> or you could just do it. Just, just do jump it. in there, put some color on and just go with it. it. See where you get. Yes. Yeah. 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 So the art world is pretty much our inner world. Yes. Because we're painting the, our life, we're creating our life. Yes. And it's tremendous to see how much color you can put mm -hmm. and how much absence of color depending on, right. as you said, the, the background here, we don't see what's, 
where right. you start with, and then you work from, from up from there. <laughs> and then when it's finished, how many people you can excite with it. Right. And that is so wonderful, yeah. so gratifying to, yeah. to hear someone who's been affected yeah. by, what, by what I've painted yes. and is yes. now carrying that yes. through with them into the rest of their lives. Yes. Because would you have thought about the Nike, the Nike statue in the park if you hadn't like that. seen no, my painting? No, no. I, I, I took a you shot You would see it, it, but maybe it wouldn't mean the It wouldn't mean, mean how I can thing. bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is how I can bring it home. I really adore that. Thank me. you. So it's, it's like, this is how I can bring it home <laughs> and have it because um, it, there's some things that you said that we're sim similar with. I sit sometimes like down Wall Street and I look up at the gargoyles and I was like, what's in this history that these things are here? Yeah. That, that's what I, I want. I just keep going back and say, what's in this history? And you kind of like explain to me why, how this Greek mythology was strong, you know, back then. And I was like, this means something. I used to be at Brooklyn right. Library going like this. Like, <laughs> completely saying that there's something going on here. Are these things watching the city? Are they going to come alive like in the cartoon? <laughs> in my paintings, yes. <laughs> but, yeah, that, but that's when it comes alive. So it, yeah. it was an awesome experience with this. Um, folks, I'm just amazed at this work. You know, it's just wonderful that we've got this growing art scene here in New Rochelle. And, you know, I really just hope that everyone comes in and joins us and supports us and gets involved. I mean, there's so many things that happen throughout the year here in New Rochelle. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got several different art buildings where people, artists, have their studios. Mm -hmm. We have events, art exhibits at the library often. We've got this incredible gallery here on Division Street now. You know, I have done pop-up shows at Sutton Florist. Yeah which is great. I mean, we've got art fests mm -hmm. that happens every fall. You know, our wonderful New Rochelle Council of the Arts with yeah. Teresa Leghorn come heading that up. That is, you know, they do such a great job with that. And it's just, I, I hope that everyone here in New Rochelle really gets involved and, and comes out and, and joins. And, all the artists who haven't done anything yet with us come and join us and everyone comes out and sees it. It's just, it's, things are happening here and it's wonderful. Yeah, and we choose to sometimes focus on the negative things. That no, happen, but, but there's a lot of positive things, things that, that are, positive are growing and in yeah. And the negative. Mm -hmm. I thank you so, so, so much for being oh, thank here you. and sharing your work with me. Thanks. Thank you. It's guys. been great.